Hot part, the oh, part process. Do I do I need to remember this for you? That, too? Was, that was broken. Yeah, yeah you, you. Okay. Whole you broke a patch to patch process. Okay, so we are live. Um, yeah. What? A pity today is the last day of the reactors half test. And uh, well, it was our first reactors half test, and and to sum up, it was really great to to be doing this week with all these guys. Um, and well, during the last day, we have several commits yesterday, several commits today. Um, let's see. I mean, do you want to share some of the last commits that we have that has arrived to the trunk? Yeah, well, well, today is the last day, and uh, the hackfest in general, considering our lack of experience and uh, the fact that this is the very first hackfest, I would say it went really, really well. We get to meet the guys in person and have fun together, etc. You know, it was really great. This in itself alone, for me, is a huge success. Uh, and uh, today and yesterday evening, we got uh, we got to do some more work. We got to inspect, for example, the Intel network card installation. Uh, thanks to Mikhail for uh, his testing. And uh, we got this exception, which Timo is inspected and uh, and got uh, got to the bottom of the issue. It was actually accessing a, a user mode structure from the kernel without going into the, without attaching to the write process. They actually managed to fix that. And uh, I don't know if he committed or not, but if not, expect, expect a commit soon. Uh, Victor also will speak in detail about his web, web uh, plan, the website plan yeah, I in, a, in a moment. And Stefan is also looks like he's working on something. I don't know the details, but he's looking at his laptop and he's working. Daniel, of course, uh, uh, Colin. Colin, of course, is working on his thesis stuff. Plus, he kindly set up the the, the virtual machine that Victor will use. So I'd say this was a, a productive day for the very last day, and I hope that. Uh, this whole week will, will also be a chance to to have some plans to continue working on even after the hackfest. Okay, perfect. So, Stefan, do you yeah. want to share which is which are your secret plans? Because I see you really, really uh, focused in your secret plans are trying to fix things mostly fix things in the trap handlers. Trap handlers, what's a yeah, trap handler? Trap handlers. When uh, a process is an interrupt, for example, for example, if it executes an in, has an incorrect instruction or accesses memory that is invalid, it, it generates an exception or a trap, which is the uh -huh. processor jumping to a function that the kernel specifies. Mm -hmm. And uh, there are quite a few of these handlers, and uh, they were in assembly some years ago, but then they were rewritten to C, and during this trend, this change, some things got broken and was never fixed. And I'm looking at them and trying to figure out how to fix them. Uh -huh. Perfect. Um, and what can uh, what can that mean when, when it, it got fixed? Uh, do, um, have you detected any potential issues right now? A lot of these are corner cases where a user program called do something specific mm -hmm. thing and then crash the kernel because mm -hmm. it doesn't check things correctly, for example. So we are talking to fix several kernel crashes, potential okay. kernel crashes so, that could happen, right? Yeah, but in practice, they will probably never be seen because they're very rare. Mm -hmm. But they still have to be fixed because you can't have a user mode program crash the kernel. It's not how it's supposed to be. Uh huh. Perfect. Some other things, though, like one thing with context switching, which Timo has yeah, helped, uh, he helped me a bit with it. Uh, it, uh, it has to do with when switching threads, if there is FPU. If one thread uses, uses floating point, then all it has to have its own uh, values and registers. You, you can't have a process to, uh, or a thread to a uh, floating point calculation. And then a new thread is switched to, 
and then uh, making uh, and then this next thread there's some other floating point thing which corrupts the registers you have to change them between mm -hmm. uh, reactors was always doing this but uh, it is expensive to change this because there are a lot of registers there's fpu there's mmx there is xmm and uh, sse i think and saving and restoring this every time for every process is a bit expensive and now it is delayed so it only does this when it really needs to mm -hmm. which uh, i have no test for how much performance this yeah, probe, but it will so, yeah. improve especially for applications that use a lot of threads mm -hmm. well use them with applications because using with applications or using with threads can always do floating point uh -huh. while for example a driver has to save and restore the state manually to avoid corrupting things mm -hmm. pretty cool man so okay colin we know that you are pretty passive in the thesis but yes. also have you moved something have you done something or something to that you can add to your thesis work well uh one part of the day I spent on my thesis again with finally having Benedict and Amin read a bit over it with some nice corrections already. Thank you guys. And apart from that, um, I began to set up a new VM for Victor's work on the website to Yay. let him, well, test it out, present it to us, and then we'll see, finally. Cool, perfect. So now, any other who wants to join and who wants to tell us uh, what have been doing? Okay. Michael, maybe? Do you want to share a little bit of your work during these days? You've, you've been pretty sad during these days to the camera, to the webcam. People is telling, what is doing that guy in blue? For He must talk, he must tell us what's going on. Hello. Uh, at first, I tried the Intel network uh, driver, but the installer throws uh, errors in the GUI. Mm -hmm. So I went to the help, help uh, compiler, which worked in li Linux, but not on Windows. And at least it is, doesn't crash anymore, and it does make a little file. Wow. But the file is uh, still corrupt. Wow. <laughs> well, little by little. <laughs> Reactors has this kind of surprises. You fix a bug and you suddenly step on to another one and another one. It's the never ending story, but well, each bug is uh, one potential step forward. So, so well, um, Timo, do you have something, wait, wait, something to share with us, please? I, I know you have. <laughs> and I know you want to hide yourself. <laughs> yes. Um, well, I first worked a bit uh, on the patch for the VBOX uh, display auto resizing. Um, this will require a bit um, more deeper restructuring of some of the code. Um, so I decided to switch to something else. And um, I worked on some unimplemented stuff in Win32K, um, specifically um, working on uh, some NLS functions, converting uh, between Unicode and ANSI. And I'm currently writing some tests, and I've also uh, went into uh, some RTL functions for that, um, completing some SIM cards there, and currently trying to organize it a bit better so that we can review as much code as possible in the third day uh, to implement these functions there without duplicating it. Which, which, uh, which APIs are you creating this for? Um, these are any. <coughs> um, Y chart to multibyte and, and multibyte Y chart mm -hmm. ones that I'm currently working on. Mm -hmm. They work similar to the ones in kernel 32, but mm -hmm. you can't use the same code. And it needs to be a bit uh, restructured, and we also cannot yet reuse the code from RTL 
which is exported by the kernel, but some pieces are still missing there. Um, I hope to get that uh, together soon. Oh, pretty cool. Sounds promising because I, uh, while my testings have uh, been crashing sometimes and uses with uh, Unicode, we had uh, not so long time ago some Unicode issues with WinRAP and other apps who uh, well, had issues in this translation of ANSI to Unicode uh, and these kind of things. So thank you so much, Timo, for your small report. <laughs> um, and we want to, all the team here, uh, wait a second, yeah, all the team here, want to, well, do something special because we know that today is the birthday of one of the guys who were here, which is Daniel. Hi, Daniel. And we want to sing you happy birthday to you, man, from Aachen. So, um, I mean, How's no, your not, voice? I'm not really good at singing, but <laughs> I can follow someone okay. with a good voice. So, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Daniel. Happy birthday to you. Yes, yes, the little Al Capone is not present today, but also. Also, Christoph had to leave, and well, Alexei is in Russia. But from all the guys from the half and these who are not present, so happy birthday to you, Daniel. We hope to have more half face and more beer for for your next parties. And well, with this, unless someone wants to add something, I think we are closing our wonderful first reactors half face, which was amazing because we had a big, a big, uh, a big laugh by the RWTHA, RWTH, Aachen University, uh, who helped a lot uh, sharing this space with us and make that possible. To Colin, who was uh, the student that helped us to have for the Reactive Foundation this space, and uh, for well all the devs who wanted or will it to to join and share part of his holidays or their holidays here with us coding and we're also having a lot of fun because we have been coding but also sharing a lot of experience uh having some beer visiting Aachen, which is a really wonderful city i would love to live here really and i recommend you if you're around to come and visit it and well hope next year it will be here again, or maybe in another country, or whatever. And with all the experience that we have from this reactors hack phase, I'm pretty sure next ones will be even amazing, amazing. So, well, not really too much more to add. Yes, to thanks all the guys who have been lately in the reactor channel, in reactors deep channel, following in Twitter, following in Facebook, asking us questions, sometimes answering them in a private way uh that you have been here um you have been following us we know now we have 25 followers live which is pretty cool um well uh yes that yeah, in the name of the reactive foundation thank to all everyone over there i hope to see you in our next reactors have faith or in our irc channels so see you soon bye 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 goodbye